Um, so I'm something of a fan of Supernatural, you may or may not know. Uh, I got my sister into it, and she's heavily into it. So as a frequent convention goer, when I found out that there was actually a Supernatural themed uh, convention that was going on, uh, I decided to buy tickets for myself and my sister, and we drove all the way to Birmingham for Asylum 14, held by Rogue Events. Uh, and it was a very entertaining road trip. Uh, we, we drove uh, all the way up to Birmingham, singing badly to Bon Jovi and having the odd laugh here and there, and uh, the occasional road break. Do you want anything? Give me some pie! Love me some pie. But then we finally reached the Birmingham Metropole after nearly four and a half hours. And uh, after a long drive like that, we were pretty tired, but we got registered and we bought our tickets for the autographs that we wanted to be able to get while we were there. And then not a lot really happened. It started to look like that maybe it was not particularly well organized. Speaking to some of the stewards, they didn't really know exactly what was going on. There had been no plan set out yet, and seeing that this was a really major weekend for nearly two and a half thousand fans, and that my sister and I could only be there for the one day, uh, we were worried that maybe we would go back empty-handed after having spent an awful lot of money. And then, to make matters worse, I pass a kidney stone. So arduous was the experience of passing this stone, I inadvertently named him Clarence. But I was able to brave it, get into my Hulkamania shirt and my Thor wig, and go down to the 80s disco that didn't play any 80s music for about an hour and a half. And we ended up going to sleep that night, thinking that possibly we would end up having to go back early and empty-handed. But you know what? It actually all worked out. The stewards were absolutely amazing, including Katie Brazen and Helen Goody, uh, who uh, I was able to make friends with that weekend. Um, everything started to move forward quite smoothly, and there were some really fantastic cosplayers of whom I only got to record a few of them. And uh, we sat in with a talk with Jensen Ackles. Um, we sat in on the apparently first ever stage talk, which had Jensen Ackles, Jared Padalecki, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And I was lucky enough to get to meet all three of them and get their autographs, and funnily enough, they're actually really amazing. You know, fans will often say that, but they were really, really nice people. Also got to get autographs off of Mark Shepard, who was dead funny, Tim Onmanson, who is an absolute gentleman, and uh, Curtis Armstrong, who uh, is actually a lot cooler than his character. And we came back with a lot of really good memories and good laughs and a few new friends, and uh, it was actually a really, really good event. So, started off quite rocky, uh, or stony, if you consider Clarence, uh, but it ended up really, really good. Then please do go check out Rogue Events. Also, I passed a kidney stone. Did I not tell you this already? And we ended up coming back with a really... I do that a lot, apparently. You came back with a new language. I came back with a new language. You love it, even though I'm off key. She loves it. Thank you for watching this video. It was just basically a rambly one. There are other better ones on this channel, I promise. Please check out the channel or hit subscribe for more. Alternatively, uh, you can actually like us on Facebook on the official Live From Your Mother's Basement Facebook page, which is in the description below.